Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to go ahead and talk about the Real Housewives of New York. <sighs> okay, so next week is the season finale. At this point, they're pretty much having the same conversation. Girl, it's just amongst different people, all right? The episode starts out with um, Brynn on the phone. <laughs> when Brynn told her brother... I got a little bit of COVID. <laughs> What's a little bit of COVID? <laughs> either you got it, either you don't. <laughs> Uber is doing a photo shoot. Uber was absolutely gorgeous. Shout out to Uber. Um, Aaron, not Aaron. Jessel. Jessel meets up with Jenna. This is the thing. And... I don't want to come across as an a-hole. I don't. But I feel like there's some things that need to be said. This is not to come across as insensitive. It's really not. So Jessa was telling uh, Jenna about the lunch date that her and Cy had. And I think there's this conversation that's happening where people think that Jessel is trying to compare her uncle to Sai's mother. I know that Sai's mother was an alcoholic, and I think Sai pretty much had to be on her own by the age of 16, right? I don't think that Jessel is trying to compare her mother to her uncle, size and mother suggests, I don't think that she's trying to compare the, the, the title of the people involved, right? I think she is just trying to find some common ground or just try to be relatable when it comes to size. It's like the example I use with Gertie and Julia. Remember Julia from Real Housewives of Miami? She was talking about how she had a son and something happened with the nanny, and I don't know if the son, I don't know if the nanny, like, unalived the son, but the, it was a mess, right? And then Gertie kind of chimed in and was like, yeah, I had a miscarriage. Of course, if I remember the story correctly, of course, Julia's son, who could have been unalived by someone, that's not the same as Gertie having a miscarriage, right, at four or five months or whenever it was. However, Gertie was just trying to let her know that while, yes, the, it's different, we still, at the end of the day, lost our child. I think that, and I think that's where Jessel is trying to come from, right? Like, yes, I, I'm not trying to compare my, my uncle to your, mom, to your mama. I'm just saying you had to deal with someone who, you know, was an alcoholic, and I also had to deal with someone who was an alcoholic. And the truth of the matter is no teeth, no shade. The same way we can question how close Jessel was to her uncle, we can also question how close Sai was to her mother. Because, girl, from what you said, your ass is already on the streets by yourself at 16 years old. So we don't know if Jessel looked at her uncle as her best friend, right? We don't know. Jessel could have possibly looked at her uncle as a father figure. We don't know, or as a mother figure, I don't know. We don't know. But I think to try to discount Jessel's story just because it happens to be her uncle, right? When I could easily ask Sai, well, girl, you said you was out on the, so how close, how close were you with your mother for your mother to let you go out and be on your own at 16 years old? Sorry. Um, they talk about uh, Jessel's husband going to Vietnam for three days. Listen, it sounds crazy. It does. We're not going to sit here and play this game. Y'all know I like Jessel, but it does sound, I, I think because I've never heard someone just say 
I'm going to go travel, you know, internationally and I'm going to be on a plane for 24 hours. I'm going to I'm only going to touch down for 24 hours. Girl, what? Huh? You really doing all that? And he looks at it as like, I'm just getting some peace and quiet. This is my way to get away. Right. But I, 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 I'm not going to sit here and say that, girl. I, I don't think that is that I don't understand why some of the people in the group have questions. Because I would I would be looking at J Jessel and Pavet. Is it Pavet with a side eye too? Like who the who who travel like that, girl? Okay, so you not to say that it doesn't happen because clearly it happens. But girl, what? But his whole thing in his head is that the vacation isn't even being on the plane, right? I guess, girl. But they wasn't wrong. Jessel and, I mean, Cy and Aaron were not wrong for kind of like side eyeing that whole situation. Now, this is why I don't understand, Cy. Cy, girl, you done said 15,000 times that I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. But, girl, for you not to care about Jessel, you sure keep her goddamn name in your mouth very often. Every time I looked up this episode, Cy will say that she doesn't care. But then you'll turn around and, girl, be talking about Jessel. I'm talking about Jessel and her husband. But the truth of the matter is, I'm going to leave it alone. But girl, I've been on Twitter. Y'all know Twitter is my go-to place now. And I don't know how true, it is, how true it is. But girl, Cy, no tea, no shade, girl. Why you worried about what's going on with Jessel and Pavet, or Pavet, whatever his name is, you need to be worried about what the streets are saying about you and your husband and how you met your husband. Hello? <laughs> now, so girl, you need to be cleaning up that. You need to make sure you come out and straighten out whatever needs to be straightened out because the same way you side eye and Jessel and Poppet and me too, I'm also side eye on you. And Aaron, I got some for your ass too. <laughs> okay. Ain't Sophia, she has an Ain't Sophia. Ain't Sophia's hair is gorgeous. I love the black with like the gray in the front. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I thought she said, I think her husband, David, David got a book made with all of Sai's mother's art in it. I thought that was so thoughtful. Girl, I would have bust out crying. <laughs> and the aunt literally said, I don't want to cry. Don't make me cry. She thought, you're not going to cry. Girl, she started crying. That was, that was very, very thoughtful. I'm not going to lie. That was really, really nice. Um, oh, just, uh, Jenna and her son go shopping for... Uh, for shades, sunglasses, girl, sick me. Girl, them glasses is five fifty, seven fifty. I said, okay, that's not that's cute. Um oh, so they have a they have a date, a date night. And uh basically they're talking about listen, they're talking about Jessel girl. Like I said, for Cy not to care about Jessel, girl, you keep Jessel's name in your mouth. And Aaron, why are you over here questioning whether or not what's going on with Jessel and Pavit and why he ain't got his wedding ring on and why he going to Vietnam for three days? Girl, we still trying to figure out why the hell you get so triggered when Brian said the word divorce. Because you sure got the shaking in your panties when you heard Brian talk about the word divorce. And I also don't think Brian and, and I don't think that Brian, that Aaron and that man are fucking like that. I don't. I'm going to tell you, I'm, let me tell you something. If Aaron and her husband were having sex as much as they try and make it seem, there should be no reason for them to already be having conversations about possibly having an open relationship when they get older. Because if y'all having sex like that, like y'all say y'all are, we shouldn't even, why are we having sex, why are we having conversations about what could happen in the future? Because we still fucking like jackrabbits anyways. You see what I'm saying? So, Aaron, you got some question marks too, Miss Girl. <laughs> we, we, I want to figure out some stuff about what's going on over there with you and A too. Because you already talking about having sex with a gay man. I'm just saying, this is one of those situations where you need to sweep around your own front door before, before you try to sweep around somebody uh, in front of somebody else's. And this is also another reason why you have to be careful about when you tell people your business. Cy and Aaron are 
the prime example of why you cannot share with people what's going on in your life or your marriage because they will use it against you on Mad Day. Everybody in that group knows that Jessel and her husband have not had sex for almost two years, which I do think is absolutely strange. That's a long ass time. We're not going to act like it's not. All right. But the only two people in the group, from what I can remember, that have used that to throw it in her face and start to try to figure out what's going on in Jessel and in her husband's marriage is guess who? Girl. Cy and Aaron. Jenna ain't thrown that shit back in her face. I haven't heard Brynn throw it back in her face. I haven't heard Uber throw it back in her face. I haven't heard who else on the, who else on the show. I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it on the show. Girl. That's it. The only two, Jessel and Aaron. And that's exactly why you don't tell people your business. Because again, on Mad Day, they'll throw it back in your face and start trying to figure out what's going on in your world. Let's figure out what's going on in your world, Cy. Hello? Let's figure out what's going on in your world, Aaron, and why you got so triggered by the word divorce when Brian said it. Hello? Um... Sai says that Jessel talks in circles. Maybe she does, and I just haven't realized. You know, Sai believes that that Jessel telling her story doesn't doesn't include her family. Like I said, if somebody told Jessel, I don't want to hear about your fucking mama. Y'all see how ignorant and insensitive that sounds? Do y'all listen to what I'm saying? If somebody told Sai, I don't want to hear about your goddamn mama, I want to hear about you. Sai would have a goddamn heart attack and be ready to flip the table over. How dare you open up your mouth and tell somebody that girl their story does not consist of speaking up does not um it, their parents are not a part of their story their upbringing is not a part of their story but girl you sit there at the table girl during brunch before the girl before the sun even came up girl crying about your mama now what if Justin would have said girl we don't want to can we can you tell me about you. So I want Jessel to be responsible for something that she didn't know. So you were offended because Jessel tried to draw a parallel between your uncle, between her uncle and your mother's alcoholism. Jessel didn't know that you would be offended. <laughs> you want to try to hold somebody accountable for something that they didn't know. I don't ever speak about my mother. Girl, I don't know that. Girl, I don't even know you. I just met you for the show. Why did this girl? Now that I know, now I know not to bring your mama up because you're going to get real sensitive about it. Matter of fact, girl, I wouldn't even be inside space. The one, the one who does, the one who comes across as size is a mess. <laughs> I do want everybody to come. I want, I want everybody to come. I could see Sai not coming back next season because the people cannot stand Sai on Twitter. They can't stand side. I want everybody to come back because I want to see how people up and change. I, I can I can guarantee you that if Sa and Aaron came back next season, they would try and do a 180 and start being fake. Um, Jess will tell Sa that they're mean that her and Aaron are mean girls. Now Aaron wasn't talking at the time. She was over there kiki and with Uber. But nonetheless, it still doesn't take away from the fact that girls, Cy si, si and Aaron, they have a hard on for Jessel. I don't know what it is. I was telling my sister that I think that it's something that probably happened behind the scenes. And somehow, girl, I don't know. Because it's, I, I can't, I can't, and sometimes people just don't mesh, which is fine. But the way that Cy, especially Cy, has, has it out for Aaron, it's like, girl, what has, I mean, has it out for Jessel? What has Jessel done this entire season to the point where, girl, you're, we're at this point? Um, she says that Jessel lies all the time. I mean, tech, if we want to be technical about it, Sai, you are the one who said that Jessel was, you went from Jessel being 40 minutes late to 45 minutes late to now 35 minutes late. Greetings told us three different times. So we're gonna nitpick at shit. We can nitpick at nick nit, 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 is it wait nitpick? Is it nit, yeah, nitpick at that? 
Um, because I think Jessel said that Pivot was supposed to go to Vietnam, I guess, the next week. But I don't know if she was like, yeah, I think he's supposed to be going next week. You know how sometimes you say stuff, and it's like, yeah, I think he's supposed to be going next week. But he was basically saying, no, it's whenever something opens. And she was like, you're lying, you're lying. You said he was going next week. But why do you, why are you worried about what's going on? Girl, why does it matter? Girl, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, why does it matter, though? I could see some stuff being questioned. Like, it sounds weird as hell that he wants to go over there just for one day. Girl, and sit on a plane for 24 hours. But he said that's his way of relaxing. Okay. And this is another thing, too. It does not sound like, it does not look like Jessel or her husband are having an issue with whatever's going on in their marriage. Quiet as this cat. I'm not saying it's just because I like Jessel. If they don't have an issue, then bitch, we don't have an issue. We can sit here and say the shit looks strange. Oh, yeah, it is a little strange. Y'all ain't had sex in two years. Quiet as this cup. I think that Jessel and Poppy want out the marriage. I'm just going to be honest. I've been saying that. I'm sticking on that. I think they got together as friends, and I think that now they come back, they, they realize that they just want to be friends. That's what I think. They started out as friends. I think they're going to end just as friends, too. But they don't, they don't have an a, a, a issue with their setup. David, they go around the, uh, around the room and uh, Uber asks what made them marry these bitches. David said that Sai is honest and they laugh all the time. Abe says that Aaron keeps him honest. Um, Pavet says that life is a journey and he likes to travel and eat, which I thought was kind of weird. Because, girl, we just got done talking about you going to Vietnam by yourself. And then you turn around and say, girl, you like to travel and eat here with, with uh, Jessel. And then they then they they took it as though, they, they messy. it. They took it as though Pavette was saying that, that Jessel lets him do what he wants to do. Girl, even if that's the case, girl, I hate to break it to y'all. Even with Pavette and Jessel and Aaron and, and Jessel being married, that's a grown ass man. <laughs> now, does that mean that he gets, that he should be able to just get up and go to another country, hell, even to another city without informing his wife? Absolutely not. Girl, we got kids. You just can't get up and go like you want to get up and go like you're single. But but to act like I don't know, I just I don't like the way that they worded that. But I know a lot of y'all get married, and when y'all get married, y'all start thinking that y'all own each other. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's that, that's how I felt like they were saying it is like. Like, you're married now, so your wife owns you. Or you're married. Now. Like, I don't know. I just felt like that's the energy that I got from Sai and Aaron. As if now, because Pavet's married to Jessel, and all of a sudden, girl, he, he, he can do what you want to do. Girl, I mean, he can't do what he want to do, but girl, he's still a grown ass man. <laughs> and Jessel is a grown ass woman. Again, I'm not saying that Pavit could just get up and go to another country. No, that's not how that works. Girl, we can sit down and say, hey, I want to do this. Are you okay with it? I want to go here. Are you okay with it? I don't know. I just feel, I just like the energy. That's it. Um, Uber, girl, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> Uber got videos of her fucking in that phone. That's all I got. That she had a conversation with uh with 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 Sai and she was showing Sai something on her phone. And I felt like it was a video. That's probably why she was cutting up and acting the fool. <laughs> okay? Because she got videos of her, she got videos of her, oh my God. Oh she got video, she has videos of her in that phone, girl, probably fucking and sucking. Let's call a thing a thing. Okay. Hello? Um, Pavet calls Psy Bipolar and then you see how they always like, you need to retract that. Girl, stop being so aware of the camera. You need to retract that. You need to retract. No, he don't. He said what he said. So I, th this is the thing. I understand that in this housewife world, sometimes the men, they get hit with a bullet. Like sometimes the women, they fight with each other and the husbands, they sometimes get, get hit, right? Even though I was actually going after your wife, 
unfortunately, I had to tag you a little bit to go after her, right? We see it happen all the time. But Jessel, but Sai is too invested in Jessel, and she's mentioned Pavet's name too many times for Pavet to not be comfortable to respond to Sai. Like, even when Sai walked over to the guys and basically tried to insinuate that he was going over to fuck somebody, but at this point, Sai, you're low key, you're coming directly for him. This ain't like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going after your wife in like an argument and you're not around and I just happen to like, you kind of got a little piece of it too. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm directly in your face. So Pavet has every reason to say whatever he going to say about Sai. Now he might have to worry about David, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that white man. <laughs> um... Um, Jessel starts to cry because she's having oh, because Bryn and um Jenna came over. Jessel starts to cry because she feels as though they're coming for her marriage. Bryn, I, I got what Bryn was trying to say. Bryn, even though Bryn was being messy, Bryn was basically saying, You have to curse them out. Like, you, like, while Jessel is still getting them together. Bryn is saying, no, you have to curse them straight. The, you need to tell Sai, bitch, stay the fuck out of my business. That's what Bryn is saying that Jessel needs to say to Sai, for Sai and Aaron to understand, to leave her alone. Because when you kind of just kind of like do this double dutch dance with them, and when you have somebody like Sai who thinks that she runs the world, you have to literally go in the gutter and cuss her out. That's the only way it's going to work. I got exactly what Brian was trying to say. Because Jess was like, no, no, no. I was I basically trying to tell them that God didn't let them run over me. No, Brian is saying you have to curse her out. And once you curse her out, she'll know not to fuck with you no more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Bye, y'all.